All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere items, man, keep pushing, keep believing, regardless of people here for a bear. I just want to do a quick lesson through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, on this summertime, man. You know, the weather has broken. You got a whole lot of things going on right about now that excites you. There's a whole lot of wickedness going on right about now that excites you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And the ones, this video is for the men to send the truth. Don't get caught up with the affairs of this world either, man. You know what I'm saying? The fashions of this world are going to pass away soon. Come, man. Conform not to the ways of this world, man. Love not the world. That's the first thing we're going to get because I know. Just a little time that I've been in the truth. The main uh, time of the year that a whole lot of guys fall out of the truth is during the spring and summertime, man. You know, they get offended because they can't go to the pool parties, to the cookouts, to the rap concerts because they're at camp around that time while all this is going on, especially every Saturday. You know? So just a, just a reminder because the things that are written the fourth time was written for our learning, right? Just a reminder, man. Be careful, man. Don't get consumed by the affairs and the cares of this world, man. We're going to hop right into it. Short little lesson through the spirit of your house. But you know, shy, beautiful day, though. You know? That's why you got to constantly pray to your house. But you know, shy. Matter of fact, before I get there, let's get this Proverbs right quick. And I come to that. Let's get this Proverbs chapter 3. Okay, the birds are green. This is Proverbs chapter 3. We'll start at 5. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. With all thine heart. With all thy mind, right? That's what the word heart means in the Hebrew. It comes from the Hebrew word law, which means your mind, right? You got to acknowledge Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Trust in him, man. Blessed is the man that trusteth in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, right? It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Now with half of your mind. Now it's not with a um um three percent of your mind, with a hundred percent of your mind, trust in the Lord, right? With all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. Don't start thinking you know what's good for you, man. When you have by Shemel Shai, once again, the things that are written a time four times are written for our learning. What to do and what not to do. The scripture is telling us plain. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Don't lean into your own understanding, right? In all thy ways, some of your ways, in all thy ways, half of your ways. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, acknowledge you. Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai. And he shall direct thy paths. He's going to direct thy paths in righteousness, man. You're not going to get caught up in the summer affairs and the cares of this world. You know, you're not going to get offended because you got to go to camp and you, the people you used to kick it with, you know what I'm saying, are going to a pool party. You know? If you if you um, acknowledge Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's going to direct your path in righteousness. Verse 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes. You know, you got a whole lot of guys starting to feel themselves. Well, it's always been like that, though. You always had guys feeling themselves because they got a little bit of knowledge. Because like the scriptures say, knowledge puffeth up. You know, guys start feeling themselves. They, hey, look, man. Constantly pray and trust in your high about shot. He's going to direct thy paths. Don't try to do your own thing, man. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord. Yahweh by Shemel Shai and depart from evil, man. You know? Because being in this truth, you no know sense, it's going to be a whole lot of things. Temptations come, come with being in this truth, man. You know? A whole lot of things come with being in this truth, man. You're going to be constantly being tempted to do some evil temptations. It's time to go to camp. This ain't no one of your homeboys or your homegirls. But some people that you knew in the world are going to end up calling you. Hey, let's kick it for a little while, man. I know you be doing what you got to do, but let's just kick it for a little while. You know, we're having a pool party around 3 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Come, man. All the girlies going to be there, man. We'll get you back, you know what I'm saying, before you have to go out there and um, do what you got to do with the other guys. It never happens, man. That's why you remain focused. That's, that's, um, that's what I need. Might need to name it. It says, um, I'm going to read 7 again. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, and depart from evil, because fearing the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. 
So don't let the cares of this world drown you out, man. You know, you get offended, you know what I'm saying, the truth. So you don't want to teach the truth no more. You want to go right back into the world. Well, you're not fit for the kingdom then. As the scripture I've said, 1 John chapter 2, we start at 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father, Yahweh Bashmiel Shah is not in him. And what's the main thing our people love? Money, cars, clothes, hoes. What's part of the world? What's some more things part of the world? Trying to be a rapper, trying to be an actor, trying to go back to college, you know what I'm saying? Get those plaques, you know what I'm saying? A bachelor's degree, an associate's degree, your master's. When this place is about to be destroyed, so come. That's why the scripture told us earlier in Proverbs acknowledge Yahweh Bashmiel Shah. In all your ways, and he shall direct thy paths, you know? He's going to direct your path in righteousness, man. If you if you constantly acknowledge them, you know? The scriptures say, love not the world, man. Once again, you're going to be tempted in this thing of ours, man, to do something evil, to do something wicked, man. Examine thyself, man, constantly, man. And I'm doing the lesson, so this lesson really for me and, and for the listeners. We got to constantly examine ourselves, man. You know what's right and what's wrong. That's why we got to constantly be studying, man. Making our calling and election sure, man. Oh, yeah, I was sick. Yo, I couldn't come to camp, but you was at a pool party. And how about Shimon Shaq got the angels watching everything, man? You know? 16. For all that is in the world, the lust, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life and those all those things that the scripture is naming, you have by Shemel Shai hates, right? It's not of the world. It's like it, um, it's not of the father, but it's of the world, man. You know, so you gotta walk circumspect out here, man. You know. Spiritual demon Satan always walking around trying to see who he can catch, man. You know, trying to see who he can snatch up. He already got two thirds. He's going after the men of the Lord now though. Verse 17, and the world passeth away, meaning this rulership, you know what I'm saying? This aeon, this age, the rulership of the so-called white man is about to pass away by way of nuclear fire. And if you could get, if you caught up in the word, you're going to pass away with it, man. It says, um, and the lust thereof, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh by Shemel is shy about it forever, man. That's why we read earlier in Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding, man. This place is about to go soon come, man. I mean, and when it go, it's going to go, man. And you do not want to go with it. Well, well, the majority of our people do want to go with it, but, it, but I'm speaking to the elect. You know, Scripture tells us what to do. Get our daily bread and get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Use the word, but don't abuse it, man. Get a couple more scriptures, and I'm going to wrap it up. Like I said before, now ain't a long lesson. I just want to hit some points, and then wrap it up, man. You got summertime coming. The heat, and this, this, is, this is around the time of the year that a whole lot of Jesus fall the hell out, man. James chapter 4, verse 4. Ye adulteresses, and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity? With the most high, loving the things of this world, trying to be a millionaire, trying to be rich and all that, trying to live the lifestyles of the rich and famous. You make yourself an enemy of your how by Shemel Shai. The scriptures tell us, strive not to be rich, right? It says, um, Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the most high? Whosoever, therefore, would be a friend of the world is the enemy of the most high. Yeah, how about she I was shy, man? You know. Going to those different parties and all that man shit, man. Being around two thirds is not the way to go, man. All kind of the demons that's on them could jump on you, man. No matter how grounded and rooted you are. And then you go you go to chemtrails. You know. Another reason why we gotta get the hell out of here. You know what I'm saying? Esau just poisoning in the air. You know, burying oxide, chemtrails, yeah. That's exactly what the world need, right? More more poison in the air, right? That's part of the world, man. But once again, going right back to the lesson, the ones of our people, it conforms to the ways of the world. You make yourself an enemy 
of your how about Shamal Shan, your arms too short to fight. Matter of fact, let's get this right quick since I read that. You don't want to be an enemy of your how about Shamal Shah, who they're going to call God and Jesus Christ, man. You only want to do it to yourself, man. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Yahweh by Shemel Rashai. So you do not want to fall into the hands of the living power, Yahweh by Shemel Rashai. If you're loving the world and you're trying to be part of the world, then you're going to fall right into their hands, man. You know, it's a fearful thing. It's not a lovely thing. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Especially if you're on his bad side. Everything that we see right about now, man, is going to burn soon come, man. That's why the scriptures tell us, conform not the ways of his word. And since I'm keep quoting, I'm going to get it right quick. You know, this is like around that time of the year when the majority of guys just go right back into the world, man. That summertime demon, man. It's getting hot. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, man. You know, you in this truth now, you know what I'm saying? Stay in this truth, Abba Ratazah, man. You know, you don't want to conform to the ways of this world, celebrating Christmas. That's why it says love, not the world. What's, what's some of the things that's in the world of Christmas? Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Halloween, all that nonsense is all part of the world. Game banging, selling drugs, things of that nature, man. Doing drugs, smoking cigarettes, all that's part of the world, man. All that's going to be consumed soon come. But what it say? And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. When you hear this word, it's supposed to stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance, man. You know, you're supposed to take in um, consideration of the form of things, man. How you used to act according to the Bible, man. And strive for perfection. You can't do that being part of the world, man. It says um, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. And that's to do this work, man. Learn the words of Yahweh, but you know, then go out there and teach it, man, to the best of your ability. Make your body a living sacrifice. That's the will of Yahweh, but you know, shy. You know? Because cause look, if not, you know what I'm saying, you already know what it is. But if you don't know what it is, you know what I'm saying, you'll be, you'll be consumed with this place called America when it get consumed, man. You know. If you don't want to take heed to the words you have about Shemel Rashad and get consumed when he come back and destroy this place, man. Get consumed with it, man. Basically a warning for the men that's in this word. Warning myself, man. At the same time, why I do this lesson through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai warning myself. And this is written in red. So this is Lord Yahweh Shai. Let's see where I want to start at. 17. Let's see if that's what I want. St. John 17. Let me see if I want that. Sixteen, St. John chapter 17, verse 16. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. You know? Matter of fact, start at 15. I pray not, I pray not thou, that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from evil. So even though we're in the world, we're not of the world. So you, Lord Yahweh is praying for us, man. You know what I'm saying? That we're protected from the evils, man. From the bad times and the things that's going on. Right? Verse 16. And he said he, said he ain't pray for everybody, man. The Lord didn't pray for everybody, all right? Let's see. Verse 16. They are not of the world, meaning the elect of the nation of Israel. The Lord wasn't a part of that. Even as I am not of the world. So if the Lord was on the scene, he would be doing the work of the Father like he was doing when he was on the scene over 2,000 years ago, man. He wouldn't be trying to find out where the nearest cookout at, where the nearest party at, so he can go two-step and all this other nonsense, right? You know. What did the Lord say, man? I have chosen the poor 
of this world, rich in faith, man. That's what it's all about, man. You know? Once again, everything that you see is going to burn soon, come in. Matter of fact, I get that. Since the spirit keep having me quote it. Let's just get it. Second Peter. Chapter 3. Because <clears throat> a thief is coming. While the majority of our people are trying to uh, stay locked into what the world has to offer, that thief is coming. Remember that now. This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashemel Shah, will come as a thief in the night. And once again, we ain't never seen it. Well, I have, I have never seen a thief knock on someone's door and say, yo, I'm going to break in your house next Wednesday. Make sure you ain't there and I need all your goods to be just laying all out on the coffee table and on the couch, so forth and so on. No, a thief don't do all that, man. Okay? A thief watches you for days, years, months even. And next thing you know, they, hey, Lord, they come get what they want, man. Because they already know you ain't there anyway. So that's how the Lord is going to come when you least expect it. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, meaning the so-called white man's rulership, man. Okay? It's going to pass away with a great noise. What's going to make it pass away with a great noise? Those ICBM missiles, man. Okay? 200 million of them, man. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. You're looking at the elements now, the trees, the houses, a little more chemtrails. That's exactly what we need, right? We need we need the air to be poison, right? No fucking break, man. Everything that you see right about now, that this satellite, that's gonna burn, them light poles, everything. Shall melt with fervent heat. And the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all of these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be? So should you be think, still thinking about college? Knowing that this place is about to burn soon, come in. Should you be focusing on pool parties? And ain't nothing wrong with going to the pool. Don't let the pool party take you away from doing the work of your house by Shemel Rashado. You know? Because ain't none of that going to happen, you know what I'm saying, when that, when that hammer come down. You know? Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Everybody that you know, everything that you're looking at is going to be dissolved, right? What manner of persons ought you to be? What should be your mind state, man? Knowing that America's going to burn soon, come. And you how about Shemar Shah gave you a grace period to get your act together, and then he's going to come like a thief in the night, man. Right? He says, um, to be, to, um, to be in all holy conversation and godliness. You look up that word conversation goes back to conduct. How should you be conducting yourself knowing that these elements are going to melt with fervent heat, man? Everything that you see, all the buildings, all the cars, you name it, man. They're going to melt with fervent heat soon come, man. It's going to be real scary, man. You know? You should be getting your act together with your how about Shemel Rashad. That's what you should be doing. Shouldn't be getting caught up in the worldly things, man. We read earlier, love not the world, nor the things that's in the world. It says, um, looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of the Lord. That's what you be, should be getting yourself prepared for. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, meaning the elect, Lord willing, a part of that, according to his promise, look for new heavens, meaning a new rulership and a new earth. It's going to be the same earth. It's going to be refreshed. Look up that word new. It goes back to the Greek word kainos, which means refresh, man. So the chemtrails that I showed you earlier, you know what I'm saying? All oh, that's going to burn up too, man. You know what I'm saying? All oh, that's going to be done away with, man. When those nukes hit, man. All the fluoride that's in the, in the water, that's going to burn up, you know? So it's going to be a wonderful thing too, man. It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens. And a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. And that's what it's all about, man. You know? We're constantly praying for Yahweh Bashimel Shah to set up a righteous kingdom, man. You know. You're gonna have you're gonna have righteous rulers, man. Not wicked rulers, man. That's why you don't want to get caught up in this thing, man. You don't want to get caught up in the world. That's why the scriptures say, I'm Ecclesiastes. 
um, seven and seven. Surely oppression make up a wise man mad. But a gift destroys the heart. A gift destroys your mind. That's why you see how people want to be movie stars, actors. I'm saying things of that nature. Look, they ain't trying to turn back, man. Why? Because they got that gift, man. And that their mind is destroyed, man. You don't want to be like that, man. You want to be destroyed, man. Taking goodies and all that, man. Taking them bribes, taking them gifts. All these churches, they're part of the world. Teaching false doctrine, teaching lies. Teaching about Easter bunnies and eggs and all that nonsense. That's part of the world, man. You don't want to be part of that. You don't want to be part of that crowd, man. You really don't. I just want to do something through the spirit that you have by Shemel Shot right quick, man. That ain't a long lesson. I just thinking about it. Just sitting here. You know, you got the weather changing. You know what I'm saying? It's getting warm. You got Jake losing their damn mind already, man. You know, just keep your eyes on the prize, Jake. You know, you have about Shemel Shot is making moves, man. You don't, you don't want to get caught up in that storm. Matter of fact, I ended off with one more. You don't want to get caught up in that storm, man. You have about your is not playing with nobody. The scriptures already tell us he's not a respectable person. You know, 2 Corinthians, is he in the second or first? Corinthians 5 and 11. In the second Corinthians, yeah. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. We just read, you know what I'm saying, um... You have about Shai, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's a fearful thing to fall into his hands, right? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's why we do these lessons, man. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, you have about Shimel Shai, we persuade men. We do these lessons week in and week out, starting off with the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the men on down to persuade our people, man, to threaten them. You know? Love not the world, nor the things that's in the world. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto Yahweh. And our trust also are made manifest in your conscience, man. You know. Just a, just a strict warning, man. A little quick, quick little lesson, man. Don't get caught up in the cares of this world, man. And with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons, man. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. My God's of people here for a bit, man. Don't get caught up in the things in this world, man. Shalom.